Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the fourth quest of F7.4, and in this video, I will be taking down the Paradox Buffs path. So, the main node on this path is Paradox Buffs, and what it does is that it gives us Paradox charges whenever we gain buffs. To lose a Paradox charge, we need to knock down the Defender and the benefit that we get from having paradox charges is that for each paradox charge that we have our special attack damage is increased by 30% so once we have stacked a few of these paradox charges and a decent number of them then our special attacks will hit extremely hard now if we have less than 3 paradox charges then the defender has increased combat power rate and once we have three or more paradox charges then this increased combat power rate is reduced and completely removed so it's important to have at least three paradox charges this first fight is against squirrel girl and this is going to be a very easy fight Now usually I take my 6 star Nick Fury to this quest but on this occasion I am using a 5 star version because my 6 star Nick Fury is stuck in attack phase of Alliance War but he should still be able to dish out some really good damage with these paradox charges. One thing to keep in mind is that whenever you trigger a dexterity buff you will gain one paradox charge and whenever you start hitting the defender the dexterity charge will be removed and you will also gain an additional paradox charge so, it all, so it's always like whenever you are triggering dexterity then you are bound to get two paradox charges. But as you can see Nick Fury is dealing a lot of damage and his specials are hitting extremely hard. You can use pretty much any champ on this path but champs that have high special damage will extremely benefit from this path because of the paradox charges. Their specials will be even more devastating. So first fight is down. Next up we have a spider ham. And I will be using Nick Fury. took a lot of burst damage from the paradox detonation because I got 12 paradox charges and once you get 12 paradox charges all of them get removed and you take a big burst of damage So against spider ham you need to be a bit careful because he can evade our attacks and also he can put power strength on us.
Yeah, that evade was messing me up quite bad, so I had to throw a special one. Now that I have nine tactical charges, so he cannot evade anymore. And I threw another special one to go unblockable and make the fight even easier. And finally the spider hand is down as well. That was a bit of a rough fight but in no time I was in any real danger of losing this because Nick Fury is such a beast even as a 5 star. Next up we have Thor Ragnarok and this time I will be using Apocalypse. Apocalypse is a great option for this path as well because his specials on their own hit very hard and once you have stacked a decent number of paradox charges then his specials will become so lethal and they will hit a lot harder than they normally do. That was an extremely big special too. And the fight is over extremely easy with Apocalypse. Next up we have Miles Morales. I already had 11 paradox charges so I had to knock him down just to be safe. Once you have around 10 paradox charges you can easily shoot over to 12 paradox charges and take a lot of damage so you need to be very careful of managing the paradox charges so yeah Nick Fury is dead as I failed to evade his special one from Miles Morales properly but it's no big deal 
I will be using Shang Chi to finish the part. That was a really big special too because I had 10 paradox charges and they increased the special damage by quite a bit. Yes, since Shang-Chi has a lot of big special damage on his special too so he's also a pretty decent option for this path. Although you have to manage the paradox charges much more carefully because he gets his precision buffs as well whenever he is able to do his wushu strikes or whatever they are called. Next up we have Black Widow Deadly Origin and she is going to be also pretty easy with Apocalypse. I failed to repair it there, so I took a bit of combo. And the fight is over. And next up we have Heimdall. I will be using Dr. Doom against him. Dr. Doom, I don't even need to necessarily build up the paradox charges to reduce and remove the combat power rate that the defenders get because Doom greatly benefits from the opponents having lots of power. It makes doing the Doom cycle much easier. And since in Doom Cycle there are a lot of knocking downs involved in phase of slapping with the Doom Heavies and the special ones and special fees, so it's not even worth building up the Paradox Charges. Here I went for a special tool.
So with seven paradox charges, that was a really big special too. Here I believe I am purposely building up these paradox charges because for the final boss I will be taking down the Annihilus boss and since Doom is a really good option for that boss that's why I was strategically building up the paradox charges otherwise it's not even worth building up the paradox charges with Dr. Doom. And now I will be taking down this Annihilus boss. I already have Dr. Doom with like 8 Paradox charges so his specials would be hitting really hard and strong mystic champions like Dr. Doom, Tigra, Clairvoyant will be really good options for this but in my opinion the best option for this one is going to be Symbiote Supreme. And it's so satisfying using Symbiote Supreme against this Annihilus because he has he has lots of buffs. And there the, there is this Autometer node and what it does is that there is a range of 0 to 200 on it and once we reach above the 100 range then we are able to get a Fury and the Defender gets unblockable and we are able to do good damage but below this threshold of 100 we uh, our damage gets reduced so we need to be a bit wary of this as well apart from that he has a couple of other nodes like parry vulnerability and some other nodes that will give him buffs and make him a bit annoying but for the most part with symbiote supreme we are just going to nullify all his buffs and do a lot of damage First off, I was just checking on how this fight goes with Shang-Chi. But as you can see, it's not going that well because my order meter is already above 100, so it means that Nihilus will be passively unblockable. Yeah, that fight went terrible, but it's no big deal since it will allow me to use Symbiote Supreme. Symbiote Supreme is just so satisfying and fun to use when he's facing defenders with lots of buffs. At the start of the fight, Symbiote Supreme will be able to nullify the control road that Annihilus has which makes him unstoppable and a bit more annoying and hard to parry but in this case since that is that control road has already been nullified so I can easily parry this Annihilus without any worries. Yeah, this fight is extremely easy with Symbiote Supreme. I just need to reach to my special tree, and afterwards, the fight will be basically over. So, yeah, that's it from my side on this video, and I will see you guys soon in the next one. Mm -hmm.